Hey y'all, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. Right? Happy New Year. Hopefully you've all had a cracking start to your New Year's. I have had, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm going to get a poppy. I haven't told you anything about this. I've been keeping it hidden, secret in the background so it doesn't get memed and spoiled by the dirty me monkeys, but it has been bobbling along for weeks now. Um, I made a decision ages ago that I wanted a dog in my life. I wanted to get a dog. Um, I quickly decided I was going to get a St. Bernard. It's been something I've dreamed about since I was tiny um, and I'm massive now. So for a very, very long time, um, been searching around for the right breeder so I could find one that's not from like a poppy farm. You know, it's a specialized breeder, St. Bernard. There's not logs of them around. Um, and I finally found someone where I could see the mom and the dad and uh, it's all perfect. So I put a deposit down and it's happening. I'm leaving for Nottingham in literally a couple of hours. I'm meeting Tom Stockdale and we're gonna pick up my new puppy. It's incredible. I'm so excited. It's been the most exciting start to a new year I've ever had. Um, and to be honest with you, I was worried. I was threatening to be spoiled, to be overshadowed by a member of my own family, my selfish, slotty skit of a sister. I'm not even going to say her name now. Me and her are done. I paid for us all to go away over Christmas to the Isle of Wight. You know, my dime um, should have been my rules on the highway, but no, I got sick and I had to leave a little bit early because I'm nice, you know. I didn't want to get everyone else infected everyone who was staying there, the kids and stuff. So I left, you know, early, even though I was feeling dodgy, because I'm a warrior, kind-hearted warrior, is what I do. But I got abused, abused for the last time. I'd left my camera down there, so it could be used to take family photos and stuff. My SD card got wiped, my trip to Burger King got deleted, my vlog of Christmas got deleted, everything just gone, including a brand new pair of shoes that apparently she couldn't manage to carry back. They were Night Air Jordans. Can't carry them back. You're slender, tie them around the laces, put them around your neck, wear them as a neck warmer, put them through your repulsive, massive, saggy ears, wear them as earrings. You don't leave a pair of Nike Air Jordans, brand new. Just, just, just left. Anyway, uh, 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 I'm, I'm getting distracted. That, that was a state, I was my, a state of mind I was in until recently, but luckily, it got pulled around. The breeder sent me a photo of my new puppy having just got out of the bath and ready to be picked up for me. Wow, I mean, if, if, that's, if anything is gonna turn you around, it's the cutest photo in the world. Yeah, so that, that's where I am now. Just bloody excited. All right, I better get my arse in gear. Um, I've got to go catch a train to meet Tom, but yeah, this is gonna be exciting. But right, it is Sunday, the 5th of January. The time is 9.45 in the morning. The location is Nottingham. I'm getting a puppy. I'm getting a puppy. I, I, I'm literally beside myself with excitement. I did not sleep a wink last night. I've just, I barely slept a wink since Christmas. It's all been leading up to this. And, and, and it's happening, it's happening now. It's, we're, we're, we're going to the breeders in literally 10 minutes time. I need to stop waffling to the camera actually and get my bags packed. Uh, but you guys are coming, I'm vlogging it all. And in less than an hour, you're gonna be meeting a puppy, my puppy. We've just got here, Tom's met a turkey. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. How'd you feel? Man, just beyond excited. Beyond excited. I don't know how I'm going to last this journey on the way home. I'm just going to be like first with excitement or something like that. <laughs> Right, we are on our way back to Bristol. We're about an hour, hour and a half into the journey. We stopped at a service station for a quick pee and stuff. Um, but as you can see, he uh, he's very much enjoying being out in little carry case right now. Uh, he's literally falling at my feet, cuddling me. He's just incredible. I think he might be the best thing ever in the world. Oh my God, he's incredible. Will you look at this, just, just like a massive cuddly teddy bear. He has his little active spells and then he goes all snoozy. Uh, he's been out of the Jordans, chewing away at them. I couldn't care less, this is my best mate now. We've proper bonded on the journey. Um, we're about two hours into it at the moment. We've just stopped at the last service station so Tom can have a pee. Uh, we should be back in Bristol in like 45 minutes. I can't wait to, to let him out of the car, to let him into his new home, to spend some time with him properly, getting to know him. Uh, but everything about him is just so awesome right now. Yeah. Look at those paws. Massive. He's such a lad. Such a lad. 
All right, good morning to you. Welcome to my first proper full day with the puppy. Um, we've already been up and doing stuff this morning. He's just had a little sleep. Bird, he's woken up, so let's go and see the little lad. Now, before we go in there, actually, uh, we'll have a little competition. You can comment down in the comment section. See if you can guess his name. I'm going to give you a little clue. Um, it, he's aptly named. It's after a famous literary figure, character from the book. And um, that ain't a lie. So uh, put it in the comments if you can guess it. Okay, yeah, someone's awake. Someone is awake. And wanting to say hello. Hey, up, lad. Hey, up. Hey. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, I miss you too. I miss you too. You were sleeping. You were sleeping, weren't you? Now you're awake. Uh, he's going towards the kitchen. I think he might want to go outside. Can we just appreciate that he has just woken up and the first thing he's done is come outside and had a way up. Less than 24 hours. This lad is a genius. I would like to introduce to you Lenny. It's Len. Big Lenny Adams. Um, yeah, my Mice and Men is a wonderful book. Lenny is an all-time classic character, um, and I just think it's massively appropriate for him. Um, Lad seems to like it as well. Kind of, he's got two kind of modes to him at the moment. One of them is that he sleeps like a sloth. Uh, the other one is that he's like a perf playful little bear cub. Um, he's absolutely awesome. Um, his temperament is incredible. He's already like pretty much house trained. He's going outside. A um, couple of accidents in the night, but they were both on poppy pads by the door, so that's a massively good sign. Um, and he's just so trainable. He sits, he comes already. Um, it's just been amazing. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's incredible. He's incredible. He's just like a soft, cuddly bear. He's so sweet. He's so smart. All right, a up and welcome to day two of having a bloody puppy. Um, good morning to you all. Um, very different experience to yesterday. Um, me saying good morning makes it sound a little bit like there's been a difference between night and day for me. Like maybe I might have slept. Um, that did not happen yesterday. Late last night, I don't know what happened. Um, he suddenly proper bonded with me. Um, he grew really attached. Um, and then every time I went up to bed last night, he was just crying, throwing himself at the door. Um, there's a lot of dog as well. It was making a massive noise. Door was shaking. Um, yeah, it was hard. It was really hard last night. Obviously, I just wanted to come down and sleep on the sofa and, you know, give him a hug and be like, it's all right, mate, it's all right. You know, we don't need to be parted. If you want to stick with me, you can. Um, but that's not the way to train a dog. As much as you may want to do that, um, you've got to think about him. I don't want him to be a needy dog and stuff. So it was very much a case of just popping down, quieting him down and then leaving him again. So he does get used to being left alone. Um, but yeah, took his toll last night. I'm absolutely knackered now. Absolutely knackered. I've got Eddie, my little three-year-old nephew, coming over today. Uh, and then later my nieces, because I want him to be exposed uh, to all the kids that you might see really early as well. So it's going to be a hectic day, but hopefully there will be some time for a little bit of vlogging and learning some new tricks and some training and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm bloody loving him. He is awesome. He's such a great bloke. He's just... Yeah, he's a legend. We've just come in from the garden. A poo and two wees outside, if you keep in score. He's absolutely smashing back doors in, in that respect. Um, and he's he's in a very playful mood. Uh, we had a good run around the garden. Um, he, had, he, he kind of slept most of the morning, I guess, to kind of make up for uh, the sleep that he didn't have last night. Cheeky little bugger. Um, and yeah, now he's in his little playful mood. He's kind of learning his little routine. Uh, most difficult thing is at the moment, still waiting for his last jab. So he can't go out to the park or anything. And even when he can, he can only have short walks because it can damage their hips and stuff at first. Um, and it, uh, it, for him, I guess it's difficult because he's gone from being able to play with like seven, eight other poppies constantly all day long uh, to just not having that. 
Um, and I've got to be kind of mindful of how big he's going to get and how quick he's, you know, how quick he's going to get big. Um, normally, all the other dogs I've had, you have that little kind of rough and tumble with them. You give them a little bit of, let them bite you a little bit and kind of play fight with them. Um, you know, even little tug of wars and stuff like I you can't do that with the dogs and they get so big so quick it's kind of you've got a responsibility to 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 be responsible I guess in your actions at all times um so I kind of just have to give him this and let him chew on this never let him you know chew on me even though he wants to he wants a little mate to play with um you know he's still gonna be like that in six months he's still gonna be a puppy but he's also going to be like six, seven stone by that point. So I've just got to never let him get into that. Not that he's vicious in any way. He's like just a proper good egg. But all puppies want to have a little bit of rough and tumble. They want to play, you know, it's what they would do with their pack. Um, but with him, he's just got to be real gentle. Um, just got to do it properly, really. He's a bloody good little egg, though. Look at this. Look, I can't believe how quickly he's smashing this toilet train in. Hey, Lenny. He doesn't care about the camera. He's well into his little rabbit. Look at him. I don't know whether anyone's noticed. His eyes are very unusual. Uh, they're kind of almost grey. Show your eyes, Len. Show your eyes. Yes, lad. They're almost grey. Blue, like really pale, unusual for a dog. Uh, real pretty little eyes, isn't you, Len? You, my friend, are going to get all the bitches when you are big. My God, lad. Tall, dark, handsome, eyes like that. You're going to be beating them off with a, a, a shitty stick. I don't want to, you know, don't like to swear, but let's be honest, man. You are going to be swimming in a sea of queef, aren't you? Knee deep in clonge. And you're going to be quite tall, so that's a lot of clonge. Yeah, he's got it all. Good boy. Good boy. See, he wants to chew me, but he knows he can't. He's learnt so much already. I think he might be a genius. We are now on the third full day of having a puppy and it's, it's just going brilliantly. Like, I didn't dream it would be this easy, the transition. Um, I'm sorry, I haven't been taking loads of log footage of it. Um, I've just been concentrating like totally on getting him settled in, working with him, training him, very conscious of how big he's gonna get, you know, so quickly. Um, also conscious of like, I've made the decision to take a dog into my life. Uh, it's up to me to do everything to settle him in properly. I'm in a really fortunate position um, that I don't have to go out to work unless I want to. You know, I work because I enjoy it um, with the streaming and stuff. I, like The support from you guys has been massive and it's changed my life in terms of being able to work when I want to and stuff. Um, so I'm going to really just enjoy the situation, I think. Um, let's give you a little demonstration of the training, though. Um, he's off foraging around in another room. Let's see if we can call him and here come. Any. Good boy, sit down. Oh, good boy, would you like a little treat? Yes, you would, yes, you would. Good boy, good boy. What a good dog, what a good little lad. As you can see, he somewhat destroyed the carpet already. But you know, again, that's part of it. You invite a dog into your life, you've got to be prepared that they might destroy everything. Um, you kind of hope they won't, but they might do. Um, and also, um, this carpet's ready to go anyway. Gonna get rid of it and redo the floorboards everywhere once he's properly settled in and fully trained. Um, but as you can see, he, he just, I couldn't have asked for more. He is perfect, I'm so over the moon. Um, and hopefully, you know, it's only just going to get better when I get to take him out and stuff, meet people. Um, he's a very cute dog. Yesterday, I got a takeaway and it was a female delivery driver. And it was like something out of Pornhub. Um, as soon as I opened the door, he waddled up behind me and she was all over him. You know, you could almost, you could, um, I don't want to be crude, but you know, it, she, she, she felt like she was gushing. You know, it felt like I probably could have invited her in and, you know, Boom Boom would have been on the card. So, um, you know, personally for me, it's it's been a long time. So if he does help me meet women, that would be great. Um, and also, it will work both ways, lads. You know, it won't just be me. If you see a, you know, a bitch that you like the look of, let me know and I'll, you know, take you over there. You know, talk to the owner. You shoot your shot. You know, two-way. Works both ways. 
um, you know, as a friendship should. All right, I'm going to wrap up the video now. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If for some reason you didn't, you know, you've got no heart or something, you can leave a dislike. I do want your honest opinions. Um, and yeah, uh, there's going to be loads more doc content on the way. There's also going to be proper resumption of vlogs and stuff. Now I'm properly back. I'm going to be based at home with a dog for a bit. Um, so I will be doing loads more vlogs as well well as like dog vlogs and I'll be uploading on Callum Does the Internet. Uh, I'll link the channel. I'm going to start doing some themed meme reviews. So they're not just reviewing the horrifying memes you guys make of me. Something a bit, you know, pleasant for me as well. Uh, we're going to kick off with a World War 3 three meme review, uh, which should be exciting. Link will be down below if you want to watch it. You know, you can, you can check it out. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.